Hi Cancer, welcome to your weekly reading for January 15th through the 21st. I'm going to be taking a look at the person on your mind, how you feel about them, how they feel about you, the connection between the two of you. I will be clarifying each card so energies can change as I clarify. This is general and it may not resonate for everyone. If it does, go ahead and hit that like button if you haven't already. Subscribe to my channel so you never miss an upcoming read. Now at the end of your reading, I will be pulling an oracle message from Whispers of Love Oracle deck to give us some more insight guidance and clarification on your situation and please remember that time is fluid so this could be something that happened in your past currently in your present or coming up in your future roles can be reversed so take what applies to you the person on your mind your situation and leave the rest also if those of you that may have missed the all signs read if you did not catch the um channel updates that i uh had talked about in the all signs read um just to let you know this is the last time i'm going to be doing your weekly reading in this style i'm going to change things a little bit so that way we get more of an insight of um like a bigger thing that's going on in your week to come instead of you know just focused on one particular thing that we can look at several times through you know all signs reads but anyways um just with that being said i want to let y'all know there's going to be a slight change i didn't want anyone to be like what happened um so <laughs> with that being said let's go ahead and jump right in all right, show me how does cancer feel about the person on their mind? You don't know much about this person and you do feel that they are... A mystery to you you're not sure if you can trust them entirely um they're very different than maybe someone you would normally go after it feels like this person is very much a loner and that's what's making you um, feel like you know they can't be changed they are the way they are um i don't know how to get through to this person it's not working out with them we have the moon, we have the Hierophant in reverse, and then we also have the Hermit. So since this person, you know, feels like with the moon, um, being a mystery, keeping things a secret, and um, if you two are married, you're thinking of just kind of separating at this point, doing some soul searching for yourself, and then coming back to revisit the situation um but at this point it does feel like with that four of pentacles at the bottom of the deck that your mind can't be changed because you don't like being left in a, a state of wonder where you're not sure if you can trust the person because you know they're not giving you enough to go off of and it's like ah, i just don't have time for this um you also don't want to learn any lesson from someone who's keeping things from you. So that's why you're like, bye, out of here. I'm gone. I'm going to go spend some time doing me. But um, that's how it feels for those of you maybe in a marriage or a long-term relationship like that. And also, I do get that some of you are just like completely done and not wanting to go back. Or even if you just met this person, you don't want someone who you feel is keeping secrets. And so you're like, no, I work too hard on myself. I've invested too much into myself and I'm not going, I would rather be alone and keep moving, you know, with this hermit card. I'm just going to keep moving forward to something else that doesn't feel like a mystery. So um, let's go ahead and see how this person feels about you. because they're not good with communication. So yeah, they're like ghosting you. Yes. Okay. So we have the eight of cups. Yep. You knew. And the knight of swords and then the ace of swords in reverse. 
Cancer, what I get here is, and also at the bottom of the deck, the Two of Wands. It's not that they made a plan for this, but they're like, no, I'm going to leave the situation. They want to leave. They want to walk away, but where they're like, I'm done. I'm energetically uh, let go, not happy emotionally anymore. Um, they're running, like they're focused on running as fast as they can. So that way they don't have to explain themselves and give you clarity as to why they are wanting to leave and why they're unhappy, why they don't feel love in the situation anymore, why this isn't what they want. And it's because they don't want to communicate about it. So they, they want to avoid that. Let's go ahead and get the connection between you and this person. I do have a breakup, um, if not just like not working out. Okay. <clears throat> so we have the lovers in, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm so sorry about that. We have the lovers in reverse. We have the four of cups as well as the seven of pentacles and the eight of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So in this connection, I do have a union that is broken due to stagnation or just things getting, you know, like they just didn't work out. We're not attracted to each other anymore. This isn't what I want anymore. Um, I've given it a lot of thought and it seems like wanting to work more on yourself um, or you're choosing to work on yourself as well. Um, this person is, you know, just not wanting to face things with you and they feel like they've waited for maybe things to change um, and they're recognizing nothing's going to change. It just kind of feels the same. Like, I don't know if I'm really interested in this anymore. Um, and, you know, I don't know your situation, but I know that some of y'all are like, that's very unfair. And absolutely, um, especially with them running and avoiding telling you, like running away from you so they don't have to tell you um, that they want to leave. Let's go ahead and clarify the moon. All right, so the moon is clarified by the two of pentacles, the star, and the four of cups, and the hermit at the bottom of the deck. So, you know, where you feel like this person, you don't know much about them, you've been thinking about things and kind of weighing pros and cons, and um, try to be hopeful for a little while, but really falling out of hope that things are going to work, and just feeling a sense of rejection, or just feeling that, that stagnation of, you know, this isn't what I want, this wasn't what I was looking for. You would rather be alone here. Um, it feels like even though you might have them around with that four of cups, it definitely feels alone and isolated. So, you know, that's not a good feeling for anyone. And that I, I'm getting like two situations where some of you are in really serious relationships and some of you just met this person and you're like, should I even you know, stay here and try and see what this person's about. But, um, when you start feeling that sense of this is just getting boring or this isn't what I want, or they're not really seeing me. Um, the more that you think about it, trust yourself. Okay. Don't, you know, dismiss your intuition and, um, what, uh, your higher self is trying to tell you. So let's go ahead and clarify the Hierophant in reverse. No matter the dynamic of the relationship, whether it is a marriage, you know, a common law marriage, a relationship, situationship, does not matter. You don't want it. This is not for you. You would rather be alone, close out this chapter and end things because you would rather keep your love for somebody who's deserving of it and good for you. All right, so Nine of Pentacles, the World card, and the Death card. They come out as clarification for that Hierophant in reverse. And then the Queen of Cups in comes out as, at the bottom of the deck, sorry. 
Um, and that Hierophant in reverse, I see this as you're like, they're not, you know, learning or they're not, you know, we don't have a lot in common like I thought we did. And um, you also aren't trying to learn any more lessons about people who want to avoid you. You've already learned those lessons. So that's why you're moving on. You're like, I'm going to stay single, close this chapter, done with that, moving on. Um, I don't need to repeat that. I have a lot of love to give. I know what I want. I'm going to move on. The hermit's a very wise person, and I like that. You know, rather be alone right now and keep searching for the, the person who's supposed to find me and their journey as well. So let's clarify that hierophant. Absolutely. Yeah, you keep it moving towards exactly that. What you believe in, a true relationship, the right person, the right relationship, someone you can build a life with, a legacy with, you know, things be very successful and um, plant those seeds for long-term um, commitment. So we have the Hierophant, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Ace of Pentacles and the three of cups at the bottom of the deck. So I do see cancer that you will be dating, coming up some new people, going out with new people, or just meeting new people even. Um, and some of these relationships are going to be very meaningful along your journey. And that's in the near future that you meet somebody who really aligns more with what you're looking for in a partner. So let's go ahead and clarify this eight of cups. Okay, some of you go to like uh, couples counseling, marriage counseling, something like that. And that's when this person wants to tell you that they want to leave or they've um, hinted um, in counseling that they've wanted to leave. That doesn't mean that they actually told you, but you know, they're just not happy. They don't feel that they're, they, they want to leave. They don't feel there's any love there and they have the intent of like thinking about, I, I want to tell cancer, right? It would be the right thing to do the ace of cups. Um, but they, there could be a new romance. It's something like, I want to feel new romance or, you know, they, they want something different or your lives have changed you and theirs. Um, so that's where they're feeling like we have a lot that's changed between the two of us. And that's where the stagnation, I guess, is coming in. Um, for those of you that have been in a relationship for a while, you have that wall because you have changed and grown in a different direction than, than um, them and vice versa. And, you know, for someone new, I just see this person's like, well, I just, you know, I like you, but um, some of you work together or you have to see each other again. There's something about there being some kind of partnership or, or um, relationship, some kind of team working together as a team um, or, you know, creating something together here and still seeing each other. So it's like they avoid you and run the other direction to not tell you the truth is what I'm seeing here. Hopefully they don't do that um, because they still have to see you um, for some of you as well. But, you know, um, this person's like, I guess, like, I hope we can still be friends, have, you know, still work towards being friends, but they definitely want to, um, you know, learn other things, see what else is available for them. Let's go ahead and clarify this Knight of Swords. And it doesn't look like they're moving fast, but... Okay, here with the Knight of Swords, they run and it's because they get stuck in their head about like worst case scenario that um, they need to move on quickly. Like to be the first one to do it. Okay, so... 
The Knight of Swords is clarified by the Eight of Swords, the Six of Swords, the Ten of Swords, and then also the Page of Swords. Some of you end things before they do, and that's where they get upset about it, and they're all mad, and then in their head about, wait, I was going to leave first, and you wanted to leave this whole time, and so they still have something that they want to say to you but it's like they can't get a hold of you or you don't want to talk to them or whatever. I also get this person running in the direction of I don't want to to talk about why I'm leaving. So I'm just going to act very quickly because, you know, what if this just goes so wrong and um it's almost like they don't want to face the betrayal or the you know, the ending of the situation. So they're avoiding facing the ending of the situation with you, Cancer, by just leaving without facing you. And it's almost like they don't want you to have the last word or to hear what you have to say because they know whatever it is that you have to say is not going to be positive. Plus, they don't have anything good to say, so they don't want to say it. They, like, just want to avoid it. Let's go ahead and clarify the Ace of Swords in reverse. So, oh, immediate future here. They, you know, don't give you clarity, but they also don't hear from you and they're in limbo and then they start worrying <clears throat> that you, um, like they're not going to hear from you again. They start worrying because they start looking at things like how they acted, how things went down and, and they're starting to really contemplate about their actions and, and the situation and how they handled it and wanting to come and tell you the truth, wanting to right their wrongs after what they do, um, but might not be able to do so because I do get that you are um, avoiding that and heading in a different direction. So let's go ahead and get the outcome between the two of you. Okay, so this other person, or I'm just going to say it like this. This person is going to try and come back and talk to some of you. And when they do, they're going to try and fight for you. They know that there's competition, and so that's why they're coming back. Or, you know, they they want things to be different. You're not, you know, um, reaching out to them or, or chasing after them in any way, Cancer. And so they're like, what's, what's the deal? I haven't heard from you in a while. And so then they try to get your attention. Then they're waiting for a while to have reconciliation with you. Wanting that though, that's what they're trying to progress towards. They're like, I really want you to just, you know, they want to make amends with you and spend time with you, but you are moving in a different direction. What I see here is that you're happy in a relationship. So the drama, you're putting that behind you and you're really celebrating the new people you're meeting in your life, the friends that you're reconnecting with, or the friends that you're catching up with. Um, you know, you're just really celebrating life. And I like that. And it really bothers this person that just did not appreciate you um, when they had you in their life or have you in their life and have the opportunity to make things work. But like I said, sometimes people do change and we can't help that and we just grow apart and maybe that's the case for some of you as well. Um, so let's go ahead and get an oracle. I'm actually going to get two oracle messages for you. I want cancer to know. We have consider your foundation. Look at how committed you are to love. I think you're incredibly committed to love. I think that um, you really tried to give this situation a go. Maybe they did as well. I'm not going to say that they didn't, but you know the choice that they make to avoid telling you that they want to leave and just running away from, um, you know, giving you answers and leaving you with without any answers is. Uh, they, they reflect on it later on and they realize it's not it wasn't the greatest choice that they could have made 
Um, and then in a new situation here, I just feel like this person's trying to run away before, you know, you, you break their heart and it makes them feel like, oh my gosh, you know, I can't believe this person rejected me or whatever. Um, if it's something fairly new, but you know, you're not getting back to them and maybe that's where the ego comes in of like, wait a minute, why isn't this person getting back to me? They don't want me. Um, no. Well, <laughs> so uh i love you these are powerful words i do believe that this new person that you meet along your journey of discovery of new people new friends new excitement um new horizons ahead of you i do believe that one of these new people that you meet is going to really fall in love with you and they are going to express this to you and when they do they do mean it, but don't let them love bomb you. Don't let them be like, I love you and I want to give you gifts and, and just like kiss all over you and be all over you all the time. No, 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 no. Don't let them love bomb you. But, you know, everything with, was it like my grandmother says, um, you know, you should take everything with a grain of salt or yeah, everything with a grain of salt. So, um, you know, don't, overindulge don't allow them to overindulge but that's okay you know this person will tell you that they love you and they have no problem expressing their feelings and listen with your heart it says you are listening but need to hear with a loving heart whenever that does happen especially um on the journey just make sure that you're paying attention to um the new people that you're meeting and what their intent is, kind of pay attention to, you know, where they're going in conversations and things like that and what they're trying to discover from you about you. And, um, yeah. All right. So this is what I have for you, Cancer. If it resonates, go ahead and hit that like button. I will see you in your next reading coming up. Have a good rest of your day. Bye.